Digging through this frozen tundra takes a truly awesome machine. This is the Tesmec 1075 Trencher. Weight, 44 tons. Digging depth, seven feet. Digging width, 40 inches. The 325 horsepower diesel engine gives the enormous earth mover the grunt to shift 2,700 tons of dirt every hour. This trench is particular trench is heavy enough that it can, you can go down seven and a half feet and, and dig all day long if you need to. The Tesmec's amazing. It replaces three track goes all in one go. That means that we can dig our trenches in super fast time. To bring the pipeline in on time, these guys have to lay a mile of pipe every day. 5 a.m. Dawn is still an hour away. Project Superintendent Donnie has to make sure the entire 50-man crew keeps to schedule and stays alive in these treacherous conditions. These oil guys are on me hard. we got to meet our deadlines. we got to get the oil in the pipe and get going. Hey, guys, we really got to take this serious. That's all there is to it. Let's do it. Let's go. They've got just 10 hours to lay 125 sections of steel pipe before it gets too dark to work. The ground is covered with up to two feet of snow, so the three Cat D8 dozers start by clearing a path for the trencher. The next step is for the excavators to loosen the ground. But this is the steepest terrain the crew has faced in more than 70 miles of pipeline. And the frozen turf is causing massive problems for the big machines. You get on hillsides, and if you're not paying attention, it'll take off and start sliding just like a sleigh. You'd be amazed at how little of a hillside you have to be on, and you're going for a ride. <laughs> it'll take off. As the excavator sets to work on the slope, the metal track slips on the icy ground. If they don't get the 38-ton excavator under control, it could be the end of the line for the oil. Epping, North Dakota. The mighty Tesmec trencher is churning through 40 tons of frozen earth per minute. What's wrong? Ready for the next section of pipeline to be laid. But up ahead, the 38-ton excavator is sliding dangerously on the icy slopes. The excavator hangs on. But the ice takes its toll. The frozen ground has sheared the solid steel bucket. This bucket's starting to crack out. This side's worse. Same on this side, and he needs to get his new teeth. Another day of this, and that whole bucket be ruined. A little break in half, we don't get it fixed right away. It's a major blow. They have to take it out of action and weld a repair. Without the excavator's help, the trencher is moving slower than scheduled. It's really hard on the machine, so pretty soon all heck breaks loose. After four hours, they've laid only a quarter mile of pipe, half their target. Trencher operator Lincoln's working flat out to make up for lost time. But he's hit a problem. I cracked rocks. And it's a big one. Hey, Robert, I need you to come down here and, and fish out a bunch of rocks in front of the trencher. All right, I'm on my way, Link. A heavy excavator capable of shifting loads up to 6,000 pounds comes in to move the boulder. The excavator and the trencher kind of work hand in hand. When he hits rocks that are too big, I got to dive in there and get it out for him so that we can keep on trucking. But even with the hard rock gone, the trencher's not out of trouble. You broke a tooth? Yeah, snapped a tooth. Yeah, you probably have to spin it to find it to get the welder over here. Okay. All right. Um, uh, stop me where you need to. All righty. The trencher needs a weld, too. But there's not enough welders to fix all the broken teeth and man the pipeline. This could stall the entire project. What the hell are you doing up here? I you're supposed to weld the pipeline. It's not going to get moving if you're, if you're blowing smoke up. Epi, North Dakota. The Tesmec 1075 trencher needs a new tooth after chowing down on hard rock. To get the job done fastest, they bring in head welder Aaron. Where's your broke out, Wayne? Just to grind it off. 
Oh, sometimes I feel like it did it. I've seen lots of teeth on that changer. 2 p.m. With Aaron away, the welding team sealing the pipes have only managed to finish a quarter of a mile. We're going to get going, people here. What the hell? Boss man Donnie is not happy about Aaron's extracurricular activities. What the hell are you doing up here? I think you're supposed to be welding in the pipeline. Well, somebody needs to make Listen, a phone call get... and find out what's more important. Listen, we got to get going. You got to get back to pipelining. You got to get the hell out of here. I'm not going to get moving if you're up here blowing smoke at me. Aaron's very feisty. We just butt he heads like rams. But while they argue, the day's target is slipping further out of reach. Epping, North Dakota. The Tesmec 1075 trencher is battling against hard, frozen earth. And now a broken tooth has taken it out of action. As soon as head welder Aaron finishes the fix, Operator Lincoln surges ahead to make up the lost time. We have serious amounts of pipe delay. Our head's against the gun every day. The welders laying pipe need every hand on the job, including Aaron. Right on the well. Just to keep up with the pace. As the sun sets, Lincoln and the trencher power past the all-important mile mark. By the time the welding team catches up, darkness is already falling. But now, the pipe is within seven miles of the finish line. The end of this epic project is finally in sight.